So during the meeting, one of the things that came up was connectivity to the internet for the ship while it was sailing. Now, when you have internet connection, you'll be typically using the Salesforce interface to create new cases. You would simply click the Cases tab and click the New Case button to start entering your new case. However, the question came up during the meeting was how to create a case when we're offline. So I put together a small proof of concept that I give you an idea of how this would work. Now, I used the new Stratus framework by Adobe and Salesforce, which is an Air application which runs you know, as a desktop application versus being on the browser. It gives you a lot of nice capabilities such as doing conflict resolution and it automatically detects when the application is online and offline so it can do different functionalities based on the current status of the connectivity. Now this little demo may not fit all your requirements because we didn't really define what they were for an offline scenario, but I just wanted to give you an idea of some of the capabilities we had for running offline. So this is the application that I've been working on. Um, you would typically start this application up on the, on the ship and you would enter your username and password. So let me go ahead and enter my username and password in. And what it's going to do is when I click the login button, it's actually going to go ahead and connect to Salesforce. Verify our credentials. It's going to grab any case or ship data that's currently in Salesforce and sync it up to the machine locally. So this could be on a number of different computers on the ship. So it'll go ahead and sync that up for you. The first page it shows is just a standard page that has some customer service information on there that I wanted to show. The big thing you want to notice on this screen is that this has a green button here. And this tells you that, that the application is connected to the internet and it can reach Salesforce. It also tells you that there are no conflicts. It will detect conflicts for you. So if you make a change to a case in the Salesforce UI, then you make it in this offline version and it tries to sync it, it'll show you that there's the conflicts and allow you to resolve those conflicts. So that's the two main things in the status bar down here. We also have a list of all ship cases and this represents the cases that are in Salesforce and if we look here this is 0143 you'll see we have on our list of cases here we have 0143. So it's pulling the data real time from Salesforce. So we have information here where we want to create a new case. So when you're online, it's a pretty fairly straightforward process. It's the same process you would do using the, uh, the web interface. So you would enter a booking number, whatever that may be, one, two, three, four, and the cabin number. Let's say it's cabin 125, and whatever ship we're on, and you can hit the little look up here, and you can select the ship you're on. And this might be the person's name who is um, the person to contact person for the case. This is Mark Smith. And the origin of the case is an in-person. And it is uh, high. And let's see, it's uh, maintenance. Let's say water break. I'm going to show you here one of the nice things about it here that the, the web interface, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Adobe Air interface has the same validation rules as the web interface. So any changes you make for pick list values or field validation on this offline air version are going to be reflected in Salesforce. So that's really nice how it picks that up for us. So we'll say broken pipe. Okay, now when I hit the save case button, you'll want to watch down here because you'll see how it synchronizes and adds this case to Salesforce. All right, so now, now we can go into Salesforce and we can see, actually first let's look at this right here. We see, okay, here's our new case, broken pipe, Mark Smith. And then if we go into Salesforce and I refresh this, you'll see there's our case, okay? All right, so now what happens when we're offline? So I'm going to go ahead and simulate, I'm going to turn my wireless connection off, and we'll simulate offline. And watch the, watch down here, you'll notice that this now is going to say it's offline in a second. There you go. So now we're offline. If you mouse over this, you'll see it's disconnected. So now what do we do if the ship no longer has connectivity and you still want to create a case? Well, you can still look at all this information here, no problem. You can click on different one of these these pages and see different things and you can even go and enter a new case so let's go ahead and say this is another booking number okay. this is cabin 200 or 290 and this, this ship is Dream and this is Patty Jones 
and she called this in in the priorities medium and we'll do housekeeping and um, no towels okay so now what's going to happen is since we're not online it's going to actually save this case locally to this computer and queue that up to be submitted in the Salesforce once we have connectivity. So again, watch down here. I'm going to go ahead and save this case. And you'll see the new case was saved, but it didn't actually sync it to Salesforce. So one thing we want to look at now is in Salesforce that that case is not there. So let's go ahead and, and uh, open this back up. And let's go to the cases again. Oh, actually we don't have connectivity, so we can't do that. So Let's go ahead and look at the all ship cases and see. Okay, so there's our new case that was submitted, but you notice there's no case number on here. So I'm gonna go ahead now and connect to the internet. Let me start this back up here. Okay, so now you notice that I am connected to the internet and you saw that it synced up with Salesforce and actually created the, the case in Salesforce and you'll show there's the new case number. So now if we go into Salesforce, and we refresh this. Actually, there it is. I just hit refresh, and you'll see there is our case. So one of the nice things also is on here, I have it where if you are in this view for the cases, you can also double click on the case to open it up. So you can see any case that you want to look at, and you can simply double click on it, and it'll open that case up for you in, in Salesforce. So that's in a nutshell how a prototype for a, a what they call an occasionally connected application will work with Salesforce.